Winter Thaw is made possible by the generous support of Rex and Ruth Mon and the members of the BYU TV Broadcast Leadership Council. Merry Christmas, my love. Martinovdich. Oh. It's very cold. Come to the house. Warm yourself. Oh, no. No. I must get back. To business, then? Yeah. To business. Good weather. And two more. Mm. There you go. Your money. There is no need to count it. I would not cheat you. There's a man in Novgorod. Will pay me 25. I believe that's the price now. The leather is 17. I cannot give you 25. Perhaps someone else will sell for it. You know, there is no one else except Tuchev, and his farm is two days out of town. And I am a bargain at 25, and a travel is much less. You scoundrel. You wish to take advantage of an old man? You wish me to starve? Am I supposed to starve instead? You are not starving! You are a rich man! I give it to you. For 24. Because you are my friend. You are not my friend. You are a thief. Then we can do no business. Wait. He will visit you. Uh. 
Inertia? Inertia! Oh, you could use a hand, my friend. Move! But you need help. Move! I need the help of no one. Yeah, I see that. Let me carry this for you. I do not need help. Yasha. What is this? You made me wait for more than one hour. You know, I should be preparing for the celebration, but instead I wait in the cold. Forgive me. Come. Please. There is only a little more to be done. More to be done? Surely you are joking. These boots are a present for Christmas. And they should be ready for Christmas. Please, sit down. Gospodin, I don't wish to spend the whole of Christmas Eve with you. Would you not like me to make the fire? I want only the boots. I should think an apology would be in order. Who 
Somebody's there! Oh, it's you. Go beg somewhere else. You are the cobbler, yes? I have many miles still to go. A hole in my boot and no place to lay my head. Please. You have to pay in advance. Oh, come in. You can rest here while I mend your boot. Thank you, my friend. <sighs> Give me a boot. Good quality. <laughs> Do you like it so cold? I believe it's warmer outside. Yes, I love it cold. What do you think? Why don't you make yourself useful and build a fire? Oh, of course. Please. No wasting. Beautiful family. You are a blessed man. Put that back. What is your name? I've been called many things. Yes, I can believe that. So you're not going to tell me your name? Are you uh, notorious? <laughs> Escaped from prison or something? No. A man of sorrows, perhaps. Much like you? You know nothing about me. My name is Piotr. The snow is melting. Might I drive my sock by the fire? Do as you wish. So you were telling me about your family? I wasn't. Besides, they're gone. I'm sorry. My wife, Tanyasha, died when she was young. I raised my son by myself. That's a difficult lot in life. And your son, he lives near. You will see your life again. What's that? What did you say? You are a believer, no? I believe that when God took my Danyasha, he forsook me. And as for my son, he forsook me too. And will you keep this dagger wedged in your heart? What dagger? The distance between you and God and your son. Some distances are too great to cross. And I am too old. It's interesting how those things, suffering, loss, can lead one man to hope, but steer another man to despair. Perhaps God rewards those he loves and punishes the rest. Have you stopped loving your son?
Here. Your boot is done. You have miles to go. You do fine work, cobbler. Travel well. Merry Christmas, Martin Avdiyevich. May you know the depth of his love. It's not too late, my friend. Good evening, Martin of the Age. Good evening, Sonia Vashenko. You are fortunate. I still have many good things for the celebration. Martin? Martin? Do you feel well? Uh, uh, maybe a little tired. Little food. Here. Please. Take this. Thank you, Sonia. No, no! You see? Like this. You must measure. Every time. How many times I must tell you the difference between our survival and starvation is a correct measure? There's no waste. No way! Son, I am... How many times have I told you?
For God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. Just let him in. Am I going to die? I am not ready. He is coming, Martin. But our son. What an old surprise. Well, give me Gaspard and Koslov. Come in. Oh, thank you. I have told you before, there is nothing you can do. He is months behind on the rent. He tells me he will pay after the harvest. But I'm not stupid. He's a terrible farmer. There will be no harvest. He should have stayed a cobbler. Please. I will pay for him. <laughs> I cannot accept payment in shoes. No, no. Look. I have saved everything. I need only sell one last pair of boots, and I will have all the money he owes you. <laughs> take it. I'm sorry. I'm not taking your money. Please, don't take his farm. It's my farm. Besides, I have someone ready to move in after the new year. Cosmodin. You are a father yourself, please. Please, you understand. Sell the boots. Come back when you have it all. Yes, uh, and we will put this down now as a payment of good faith, yes? It's Christmas, Goblin. My family waits. Of course. Martin. Go away. What? What? Elasha, what am I going to do? Alexander Savanovich, come inside. Warm yourself. Well, I thank you, but I... It's Christmas. Come. Oh. 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 It's colder inside here than it is outside. <laughs> One moment. Bless you. Warm yourself and I finish some work. <laughs> ah, seems to me that the cold is uh, stronger this year. Every year, I think. <laughs> it's these old bones. Yes. Yes, we are old, the two of us. <laughs> 
I do not believe I will see another Christmas. You're strong yet. Stefanovic, do you believe in God? Of course. My departed wife came to me in a dream. And she said that he will visit me today. He? Our Lord. On the day of his birth. <laughs> you are blessed. Blessed? Come see me. It will not be with a smile on his face. After my wife died, I was lost. I was angry. I blamed God. did the best I knew how in raising our son. Here you go, Anthony. Son, at least you have Jeeves. As he got older, our differences grew. I decided I was right and he was wrong. And when he decided to leave, I did nothing to stop him. After a while, he came back. This time with his wife and his newborn child. To seek a reconciliation. I dug deep and found anger. And I turned them away for good. That is the most foolhardy thing I've ever heard. Yes. But the question is, if the Lord is not coming to punish me, why is he coming? Perhaps he comes simply to embrace you. I thank you for the warmth. I have much to do. <laughs> Wait. Take these. Oh, Martin, I, I, I cannot try them on. But they yeah, they're far too greater. Try them, try them. All right. <laughs> and Christmas. <laughs> May I ask you a favor? What? Anything? Tomorrow, when you pass by, uh... Will you look in and see if I am dead? I, I don't want to stink. No man wants to be remembered like that. And when you see my son in the street, will you tell him that everything is his? Hmm? The, 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 the tools, the shop, everything. Will you do that for me? May I ask one favor of you? What? When I visit here tomorrow, and you're still alive, <laughs> would you tell me what the good Lord said? Certainly. Mm. 
Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. comes as a child. Why are you sitting on my step? You foolish girl, you'll freeze to death. Come in, come in. Sit. Warm yourself and the baby. from around here, are you? No, I come a long distance. My husband is a soldier. I don't know where he is. Must be hungry. Yeah. No. Eat. No, I'm not a beggar. I asked only for one. This will make you warm. Would you be so kind as to hold my child? This is the most delicious stew I have ever tasted. Yeah, hunger is a great ingredient. <laughs> so what is here for you? A post. Yesterday a tradesman's wife promised to take me as a cook. I'm not a beginner until the next week, so I came to the town looking for a place to stay until then. And did you find a place? Eat. Eat, you will feel better. My wife, Danyasha, 
she would have liked you. You would have liked her. Oh, keep eating. I'm sorry the day has been so long. Are you all right, Gaspadin? Look at me. The past is very close today. We should go. I do not wish to take the whole of your Christmas. Wait, wait, wait. These belong to my wife. She would want you to have them. Bundle yourselves up in them. And here, this, you will offer this brooch to the widow Svetlov. She, uh, she lodges travelers. You will find her just the other side of the church. Everyone knows where she is. This will cover your lodgings until you start your employment. You are good, Gaspardine. The Lord is not hungry. Let me go! You little thief! It's to the constable with you! I didn't do it! You still on your lie? I ought to whip you myself! You lie! You lie! You! Yeah. You the one who steal my bread! Oh, yeah. I'll teach you to take that doesn't belong to you! No. Oh. Stop! Stop! Get out of the way, cobbler! He's getting what he deserves! Oh. Stop! I've not finished with him! Move, cobbler! What has he done to deserve such anger? He stole apples from my cellar at Christmas! 
And yesterday, she stole the bread from my table. I know it was him. Yeah. Will this pay for the apples? And you, Yakov. Will this pay for your bread? It's not about the money. She must to learn a lesson. He certainly needs to learn a lesson, Yakov, but will this cover the cost of the prayer? Who else has suffered from this dangerous criminal? Nikolai. You, you had your hand up. Is this not enough? Merry Christmas, Gobler. Who else? Natasha. steal from all those people. Real men never steal. Real men work. There is always work. Seek it out, find it. Why do you steal? I was hungry. Crazy fool. Yeah. So he did come. God. Father. I am not a good father. But I love my son. What, what can I do for him? I have no money now. He needs you, Martin. 
not money. You. I'm sorry. Thank you. 